Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Brief Talk Podcast. We're a group show back with you. And if you are not a Patreon, you missed so much in our pre-show. This one was a big one. It's about selling underwear and some other different things that I'd rather not discuss. And, you know, just crazy stuff. And you get the sex talk in the in the pre-show because you all mentioned you want a sex talk and that's the way you got to get it so join the patreon get the link and download the show and you'll you'll hear some things you wish you probably didn't hear like me so moving on <laughs> don't even go there um, remember i can cut you out of the show we're back we have some new people who are joining us and will be joining us on a regular basis uh, one of those, quote unquote, new people who both of these people have been on the show many times is Mr. Chris. Welcome back, Mr. Chris. So he'll be joining us as a regular when he's available and not traveling. Hello. Welcome, welcome. The next one is Mr. Ryan. We're without his man today, but it's just Ryan today. Oh, no, he's here. How is he here? He's been I quiet. Mean, uh... Hi, sorry, I was doing my side work <laughs> and participating in multitasking. Hopefully, he was not customizing. He, uh, he was doing the customizing. <laughs> uh, oh, you know how we customize. Check out the pre show for that. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work. Man. He's probably very busy. He's very, very busy. Uh, Nick is one of the OGs of the podcast, Mr. Eric. Hey, yo. Welcome, welcome. Mr. Andy's off today, and so is and uh, Stevie is at Bear Week or Bear something in Provincetown, I think. I don't remember what is a bear thing. And then we have Mr. Miami Vice himself, Cody. Hey, hey. <laughs> it was actually on time today. I was shocked. Um, oh, well, and hey, last, I've been doing pretty good. Oh, no. I've been doing pretty good. Mm, I think you have an alarm. Last but not least, we have Mr. Patrick. Hey, everyone. So if you we haven't been around probably in a couple of weeks, which has been crazy. Everything going on here. I've had some personal things that have derailed me. And then if you also tuned in about two, two weeks ago, we did the spaces on Twitter ish. I think it was two weeks ago. Once. Saturday. It was me, Andy, and Eric. Mr. Patrick dropped in for a bit. Uh, we were talking about doing <laughs> another two one. Minutes. Very <laughs> hey, hey, you dropped in. You said hello and you left. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun. We had about eight. I don't think we had ten people, but we had about eight or nine people at the time in the room talking about underwear, which is a lot of fun. Everyone who who participated loved it. It's a way to do sort of an interactive podcast where you can come on, share your opinion. There's no easy way to record it. So if you missed it, you missed it. I'm trying to find a way to record it so we can do some shows that way. And you hear like random people on Twitter come on that you may have know and talked to, but hear them. So we're going to do another one of those very soon. We just haven't set it up yet. But it was a lot of fun. And the interface was fucked up because I kept have to move screens, go to screens, let people on. Oh, it was a mess. Total mess. Look forward to that soon. We're going to do them hopefully on a regular basis. And we're going to vary our time so people can join when they are available. So Saturday, Sundays, days and nights, and maybe some weeknights. Who knows? So all you have to do is just follow on Twitter. Our topic today, uh, if you are unaware of the podcast we talk about underwear and swimwear and everything gear with guys and today we're going to hear about what are we wearing this summer because just about all our guys have traveled many many places and started wearing swimwear unlike last year so we're figuring out what they have already worn and what they're planning to wear on upcoming trips who's Let's go down the list and just share where you visited first, and then we'll go into the what have you been wearing. So, Mr. Eric, where have you been this summer? I haven't traveled as much as some of the other guys in this group, 
I've only been to Vegas for Memorial Day weekend and partied a little too hard the first night there. So sadly, I didn't get to wear anything by the pool because I was nursing a hangover for half the day. Um, Yeah. And then last weekend for 4th of July, um, we ended up going to Harris Casino out here by where I live just to kind of check out the pool. And I, you know, wore just a just a speedo, nothing, uh, nothing too flashy because I wasn't quite sure what the atmosphere was going to be like. A little, little bit of an older crowd, quite a few kids roaming around. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't wear a thong because it would have been, I guess, a little awkward for that setting. But that's really the only time I've got to wear anything in a pool. So I'm hoping to travel maybe a little bit either to San Diego for a weekend or at least some of my friends that I know out here that have pools that, you know, they constantly say, you know, let's go swimming, but, you know, don't really send an invitation to go do it. (laughs) So we'll see. And Mr. Cody, uh, where have you been this summer so far? Um, I spent 10 days in Miami in May and I loved it so much that I went back in July and my wife and I spent five days in July just for the 4th of July weekend. And next month I'm going to San Diego. And also I've joined our local pool, like, you know, by a season pass. So I've been going to the pool almost every day after work as well. Nice. And why did you only spend five days with your wife instead of the 10 days? Um, because, mm. because she has to work and make the money. So her job was not available to have 10 days off at that time. <laughs> the 10 days I went by myself because sure. she couldn't get off. <laughs> sure. Okay. And she's going to cut you off soon because, you know, just saying. Moving on. Hmm. Mr. Ryan. And Mr. Will, where have y'all been this summer or events? Yeah, um, we've had a few staycations with friends and just like local areas. Um, We've gone to Pismo Beach and more like Central Coast. Uh, We've gone to Arizona. We have some friends that live out there now. Went to the first gay bar like in a year in Phoenix. That was fun. And then for Fourth of July, we were in West Hollywood. Had too many dull beverages, but yes, um, been there. Um, and then we have some future trips coming up. I'm going to Vegas. Will is going to be going to Palm Springs. And then hopefully maybe Mexico or Hawaii towards the end of the year. But we'll see. Nice. Very nice. Yes, we have to meet up in Vegas. That's a must. That's a must. Yes. At least say hello. How are you? Hello. hello. Um, so, yeah. And then, Mr. Chris, where have you been traveling and what have you been doing or going to do this year? I feel like I've been traveling the most of the group. That's kind of crazy. I went kind of last minute to Palm Springs for Thongers Weekend back in early June. Um, Just went to a pool party in the suburbs yesterday. And then the rest of July is going to be pretty busy for me. I'm going to Austin, Texas next weekend for a kind of just a vacation with a bunch of Instagram friends. Then the weekend after that, I'm going to Detroit for a tennis tournament. And then as soon as I get home from that, I'm flying to Fort Lauderdale for a week vacation and sun splashes in the middle of that. So that'll be a great time for me. You are the <laughs> traveling man. You have done most. I think you and Stevie are up there with the most traveled because he's traveled Palm Springs, I think, twice, L.A., Disney, P town, you name it, he's been at it. Lucky. I've yeah, been I'm nowhere. To, and, I'm trying to plan another trip for my birthday in October, but it's late October and everything around that time tends to be Halloween focused and I want to avoid that. So I'm trying to figure out where to go. But to well, don't go to Key West. That's for sure, because they do Halloween out the quad zoo. Yes. So it was Palm about, Springs. <laughs> yeah. Maybe go to Mexico. No. If you go outside the U.S., there's a lot less people celebrating Halloween. Just saying. If you have big well, money, you can go to, like, New Zealand or, you know, Australia. But that's big money. 
and I don't know too many people who have that big money. And Mr. Patrick, you've been to the beach, I know, but you haven't really traveled to the beach because it's right there at you. That's true. And I got baggage, also known as kids. So traveling isn't as easy. <laughs> so, but and yeah, he, I usually, yeah. summertime, I usually stay, you know, around here on the South Shore and hit the beaches. You know, a week and a half ago, I took three or four days off and I was at the beach all day, you know, those three or four days. And I'm actually heading over the vineyard this coming weekend to Eggertown. So we're going to be there for a long weekend. I got to get down to P Town at some point. I hope visit Eric Alden maybe, and uh, I don't know, no other plans really. Just I'll go to the beach pretty much weekly. But he just doesn't here. wear a speedo, I don't. even though he Ooh. has a Mickey Mouse one. Doesn't he hasn't worn one yet? However, I did text you guys one of the beach days. What was it last week or the week before that? I went up to literally the only guy on the beach wearing a swim brief. Just to say, I you know how awesome I thought it was. That he was wearing a swim brief, et cetera, et cetera. And I think he actually appreciated it because he was like, I was so nervous and I wasn't sure if I should wear one, blah blah blah. So I think he appreciated me going up to him and telling him how cool it was that he was wearing one. And I had talked about the speed of movement with him. I mentioned the podcast and everything else, you know. Yeah, now I should have done that. But it was it was swimwear specifically, so I just immediately thought of the the speed of movement. Fine. I'm Patrick. Just dash my hands again. Thanks. Sorry. Thanks, no. I, hey, Thank Tim, you. there's a link to the podcast on our page, too. So if somebody pokes around on our page, they're going to find the podcast. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to say the podcast. Because, I mean, people don't know we have a podcast, which still amazes that's, me. But that's true. Like Brett James on Twitter or whatever. You know, he's someone that he said that this with. week. Yeah. I was yeah, like, he, I podcast. I'm like, what? He he listened to probably six podcasts like the next day, and he was, you know, texting with me and and saying how cool it was and blah blah blah. But so I got another listener. One more check. Yeah, we're trying to get to a thousand, and we're slowly getting there, slowly but surely. We'll go down the list and. Have everyone tell what has been a couple of your favorite pairs you've worn on your adventures. And what so you can tell me what if it was a brand you really like, the style, which most of you I know will be thongs, some will be briefs, and then what pairs you have to wear coming up. Because we always get pairs of swimwear that we're planning to wear. So we'll start with Brian and Well, since you're our newbies. What have you really enjoyed wearing this year, and what are you looking forward to wearing this year? Yeah, um, so we've been wearing mostly Speedos and Swim Briefs pretty much everywhere we go. Um, we started this, I think, what, uh, October of 2019 when we did a trip to Mexico, and ever since then, it's like, if I wear anything more than a Speedo, it feels like I'm wearing pants in the pool or the beach. So I don't like it. We don't even, like, we'll wear it to our friend's pool, like, hang out with the kids. Like, yeah. Really Family, we just wear Speedos. We really don't care anymore because everything's covered. Everything's hidden. Um, we haven't ventured off into a swim thong yet. We can't find one that we like. Yeah, we can't find one that fits. So being thicker guys with big legs and and big butts, it's... Unfortunately, not all swim briefs or Speedos fit the same. So some can be tight, some can be loose. So it just really depends on the brand. Um, the ones we've been wearing the most, um, we started wearing noodle bags lately. Those ones actually fit pretty well. When we were in West Hollywood for 4th of July, they have their, their USA um, brand. So we bought two of those and we look like maybe swimmers that were on, uh, on break Hiatus. On hiatus, but it was still fun. They they're really comfortable. Um, and then another Love one. Love those. Yeah, they it was nice because they just they're very very patriotic. If you've seen the picture, <laughs> they are the little like they're Olympic swimmers. Yeah, red, white, and beefy. Um, the best then, kind of swimmers. That, that should be the title of the podcast: Red, White, and Beefy. <laughs> <laughs> or or red used to be white. 
NBC. <laughs> um, no. With Bring one. it up again. Bring uh, it up again, and I'm muting you. Well, um, you know, the Stars and Stripes, they're still white, so we're good. Um, and then the other brand, it's more of a newer brand. Um, it's Thick Male. It's spelled T-H-K. Their line is actually pretty comfortable and pretty affordable. It's not horribly expensive. So those ones actually fit pretty well with us. And he just came out with some some new designs that we haven't bought yet, but we want to. Um, those are the main ones. And we have other ones. We have Mr. Turk, which is nice. It's just that brand is a little on the pricey side. Yeah. We only get it if it's on sale. I mean, I think we bought a few and they were on sale, but they were like $95 each. Normally, it's Whoa. like 175 maybe even 200 So those ones... Can't really buy those all the time, but they're really comfortable and they fit really well. So that's the only reason why we tend to buy that one. Money bags. Money Not bags. really. We don't have that many of those. We buy on sale. Yeah, girl, we buy on clearance. You get you get a coupon. That's what you get. <laughs> Somebody told me the other day that I was because of all my traveling that I'm a quote jet setter, and I was like, "Bitch, I'm flying Spirit. I'm not a jet setter." <laughs> And to be a jet setter, don't you need to travel out of the country? Yeah, I don't Just know. saying. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely not a jet set person. That's for sure. Just saying. Those are some good ones. I love the USA ones when I saw that picture on 4th of July. I was like, these boys have got it. I love that. Two thumbs Thank up you. for those. Those will be drawn soon. I've already started drawing it, but I messed it up because I won't go there. And I got halfway done with it and realized I fucked something up and had to restart. And I haven't restarted yet. Wah, wah. But it'll be coming out soon. Look for that. So, Mr. Cody, since you've been everywhere in Miami, every beach, every pool, every piece of water in south florida in near miami <laughs> what did you wear on both your trips and what do you have planned for san diego yeah i mean i think with miami the first trip i mean so both trips i took more speedos than i took clothes because obviously being one of the co-creators of the speedo movement that's like i have a big collection and i was so excited to be able to actually go somewhere and wear them so i mean each day honestly that i was in the water whether it was the beach or the pool i would <laughs> i would do as many wardrobe changes as i could like some days i changed up to like five or ten times so i mean all of the the companies that we've worked with and collaborated with i mean you know anything from noodle bags to go go amy to you know just all of the different companies that have been so gracious and let us try their product and, you know, collaborate with them. I finally got to take them and wear them and, you know, not just in my bathroom, taking the same bathroom selfie, you know, <laughs> like, and it was really fun. And, and, you know, in Miami in particular, the first time I was there, I mean, yeah, we did beach. We, there was one day where we were on the beach and we, I had met up with some people that are part of the community on the Speedo Movement page and, um, some friends. And then we were next to this other group of, I, I, I don't remember where they were from, somewhere in South America. Um, it was a whole group of guys and girls. And then it was the four or five of us. And they were wearing everything from Speedos to thongs. And in our group, we had Speedos and thongs. And it was just a fun, like random happenstance on the beach. The day that I went to the SLS pool, uh, my first trip to Miami, I wore a, a Smithers Speedo because I knew it was like a fancy hotel and I wanted to feel more sophisticated. But then I also changed into my my like disco ball twunk trunks. And there were a couple of guys there wearing Speedos, too. And this trip in Miami, I decided to because we were, we were in a collaboration with Archie Swimwear and she's a designer out of Las Vegas. Actually, she sent me a thong and two Speedos. So this trip, I actually because I was at our friend's house, um, music lover Ricky and his husband Julio hosted my wife and I. And uh, I wore a thong and it was really freeing and liberating. I mean, I, it was still a private pool, so it was just, you know, my friends and my wife and me. But uh, it was fun. You know, I, I've not I've done it once or twice, but not really in front of too many people or anything. And I was nervous, but it was fun. And I think I think that bug has kind of bit me as far as swimwear goes and thongs. So I'm probably going to be wearing more of those. 
And, uh, yeah, I just, I've just had so much fun changing, you know, like in the, at the beach, the, one of the days, the water was opaque enough where we could just go in the water and change. Um, if it's the clear water, then obviously that doesn't work so well. So we would, you know, wrap a towel around and change. And, um, I think that's what I have the most fun with. I don't change when I go to the pool here because I've been going to the pool almost every day after work for a couple of hours and I'll just wear one suit. But when I'm on vacation, I love changing and, and trying to wear as many as I can. I need, I need my speedo bag and, you know, like a pair of shorts and a shirt and flip flops. <laughs> He's the share of speedos. Exactly. Quick change. Cool. And what are you planning to wear in San Diego? I know you've got something planned up your sleeve. Yeah, so um, I'm meeting Marino, and he is one of our ambassadors, and he's up in Canada, and he's coming to San Diego with his husband or his boyfriend, Chris, and I was like, man, if you're going to be in the States, I have to be able to come say hi, so um, we already, we know that we have a couple of suits that we have the same on, so we plan on doing lots of, like, twinsy days where he and I wear, you know, the same suits at the same time, because that's also fun, especially I've been meeting people from the Speedo movement, like getting to like twin with people and wear the same suit at the same time. I don't know. It's it's always I like I've always kind of thought that was fun, even with clothes, like with my buddies when we were younger, or even if I go out now, sometimes we'll do it. So uh, that's what we plan on doing. I know he's got one of our Krakens, which, you know, is from our line. And of course, I have one. So we'll probably do that. And then uh, we have several different suits from various companies that have, you know, sent him the suits as an ambassador of ours, too, that we'll, we'll feature and do Twins Days with. So lots of twinning with Marino, I think. Interesting. Interesting. And we'll see it all on Instagram. So follow him on Instagram to see all that. Absolutely. Mr. Chris, what have you worn to Thongers and the pool parties and planning to wear to the next Thongers? Well, thongers I wore full, you know, full length bodysuits from Speedo because, you know, I had to cover up. I'm kidding. Um, it was <laughs> a bunch of thongs. I'm like, where's he going with this? <laughs> yeah, I went. Yeah, we wore those Olympic, you know, long things. Full Olympic speed suit. Yeah, that's what I was wearing. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's my speed. No, it was a bunch of thongs. I think I brought 100 um, with me to that trip and only ended up wearing about 20 over the four days. It didn't change as often as I expected, clearly. I don't think I ever would have worn all 100, but, you know, it was a pipe dream. You never know. But I try to mix up the brands, you know, bring a bunch of stuff and show off what I have. So that's always fun. Probably what I'm most excited about is the the stuff I have custom made from Carl Wesley because it just fits so perfectly, and I just love the prints that I have. So that was kind of, like, the big focus, I think. Yesterday's pool party a naked party for skinny dip day national skinny dip day so nothing was worn there which was a lot of fun too and right. then we'll know about that because they went to the naked beach the new beach oh yeah that was fun we did and then um the austin trip is actually with a bunch of friends i've met on instagram and a lot of them are new to thongs so i am bringing with me i've already packed them i think i'm bringing 60 and it's a representation of about 30 of the brands that I own. So like a couple pairs from each so that they can see them, try them on if they like, um, and kind of go from there. So looking forward to that. Detroit for tennis, I'll probably pick something just to wear that's functional and not too warm so that I don't, you know, get too sweaty. And if I do, I'll just bring multiple to change in. And then Fort Lauderdale. That sun splash again is kind of like a thongers weekend. So I'm just planning on bringing a bunch. I do have a couple of special things planned for that. There's a couple of things I got from Wojor out of Germany that I am looking to debut at that event, which will be kind of fun. One is made of neoprene. So that's kind of. Uh oh. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. You're going to have some fun in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I've gotten. A bunch of new brands lately. Um, I just ordered from Buffed Bod and got that. I have an order from Archie Swimwear on um, Etsy that was supposedly delivered yesterday, but I can't find the package. So maybe USPS is just lying to me and it'll show well, up on Sunday. Some days they'll say it's delivered, but it really won't get delivered till like the next 
mail delivery day. So it may get there Monday because I've had tons of packages going, hey, it's delivered. And I'm like, no, it's not. And then the next day it shows up. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing because it was marked as delivered at like 7.50 p.m. And I'm like, the USPS isn't working at that time on Saturday. So I'll look for it on Monday. I also just ordered Grand Axis just launched our new swimwear for the summer. And I ordered a couple of the new swim thongs from them, hoping they'll be delivered before Austin. I may throw them in the bag to kind of show the guys those as well, since he made some changes since last year um, release. No. So he, he removed the drawstring out of the swim thong, and he made the pouch a little bit bigger. And are so you we'll going to see how it, on the Speedo cruise? I am planning on bringing a mix of Speedos and thongs. Nice. Probably mostly thongs, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm I'm curious. I know so many people in our group that are going that really like thongs. So it'll be a speedo slash thong a thong, I think. <laughs> well, I think the, the the guy kind of who started it, Stephen, is part of the Sunsplash event. So mm-hmm. I think a lot of the follow it and started in the group were were basically the Sunsplash crew, and then adding from there. He's in Atlanta. I know Stephen. He's a good guy. I've known him for 15, 20 years. Good Lord. It's been a while. I'm dating myself. Do you all have fun on the cruise? Yay. Is that all you're planning to debut? Yeah, I mean, I, as far as I can think of, I don't remember and anything there, else that I've gotten that's new. And there'll be more surprises as you get closer. So just watch on social. He'll show, he'll show you what he's got. Yay. And Mr. Eric, what are you planning to wear this summer? I know you're probably going to go somewhere else if it's either nearby or is there anything special you're hoping to wear this year? I'm hoping. (laughs) Um, I did get a few new uh, end-to-end swim thongs that I'm hoping to be able to wear out sometime this year. If not, then, you know, I'll just probably stick with some of the stuff that I have from the previous year. Only because, it, you know, like I said, it just I haven't really ha- traveled all that much. And then with a new job, can't really take the time off that I would like to. So just kind of playing it by ear, if you will. But hopefully all that changes and, you know, I'll start posting more swim stuff and all that all that stuff that i used to do back at the old house yes our goal is to get him a new pool that's yeah. our goal we're we're hoping, hoping, we're to, make- hoping to sell this place within the next year or so and buy the house that's going to be like the nice little travel location that people want to come and visit to because you know, i'm that kind of person he needs to have the over. nice that you can have people stay in the little pool house you know mm-hmm. like andy because uh, he'll be there all the time. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. Nice. I haven't worn anything this year because I've been to the pool once at my friend's house for Memorial Day, and that's been it. So I've been nowhere, done nothing, no beaches, no nothing. And I haven't really bought anything. Although the one pair I do want is the drawer Happy Brief, which I know uh, Ryan wants as well. It's like the, I call it the unicorn leopard brief where it's like pastel colors with like the unicorn print yeah yes I definitely we'll need that for vegas so we'll talk after this and we'll get you all set up sweet um so yeah it's one of those things i'm gonna get and then we'll see when i can wear it plus i gotta lose a little weight before i can probably fit into it Blah. and so that leads me to mr patrick who has been to the beach who has been out but doesn't has yet to wear a speedo in public yet? That's true. And you own um, at least one of them. I do. I have a couple. And actually, Eric reminded me as he was talking that I bought a couple end to end swim thongs last year. I forgot I had. I, um, yeah. So okay. I have two end to end swim thongs that. I actually didn't like Are you them. sure you still wondering... have them and you didn't throw them away? <laughs> no, I, I do still <laughs> right. have them. But it was when end to end was kind of having a sizing issue that I know some other people had. And I just, I don't like the way they fit on me, which really happens with end to end for me because I have a lot of their gear and I love their stuff. So those are probably definitely 
throw aways or sell or oh no whatever. no 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 uh, throw away you 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 and me you and me talk about okay. this after the after the after the, the podcast those you none, can none send directly to Eric none yeah, of this throwing away stuff like let, let's let's that. talk a little bit <laughs> but uh but yeah so I do have some it's just you know I'm I don't know what it is I have severe image issues still for whatever reason which is kind of wow. stupid and silly because i You're post not. pictures of myself in underwear on online and have no issue doing that and i get fairly good feedback i guess but i don't know i just something about being in a swim brief uh forget a swim thong in public but in a swim brief in public i just i it just scares the ever-living shit out of me to do that and i just haven't taken the plunge yet and it's not that i don't like the look and because i do i mean there was a swim brief that bang clothes has that kind of interests me that i thought was cool that i almost bought but then i just decided not to do it because i know i won't wear it so yeah i just i am a basic bitch who will wear the five and a half inch inseam Shorts okay. the beach, you Patrick. know. <laughs> okay, I'm sending your wife a field trip form for her to sign for Stevie to get you and take you to a beach. And now your assignment's going to be wear a brief with Stevie. Yeah, exactly. on the beach. I need to do it because he's right, right there right. at you. Yeah, Stevie really can is. help you find the right one. He's right there at and you. No excuses. There are no excuses. You could have. I just need to do it, and I just haven't yet. I think I look okay enough to wear one, and I just need to get over that fear. So, yes, speaking of like do. only fans, maybe you could film it and sell it your first time in a speedo on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need money though, so I'm not good at only fans. Well, we do. So you film it for us, and then we'll sell it. Yeah, for the okay. podcast. Think about the podcast, my friend. Come on. I think I'd rather not just about, write the check. I'm not about pouring that people out. I'm sorry. I'm not above it. <laughs> he said he's just going to write a check. So basically. Oh, write a check. Write a check. Send a check over. Yeah. What I just said. He's, he's buying all of the uh, microphones for us. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's only a couple hundred bucks. You know. No, that's nothing. There we go. I mean, he is, the, he is the daddy of the podcast, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we could probably find that in his sofa right now if we go through it. Yeah, or if he would let us sell his gear, I'm sure we could make enough money to buy the microphones. Right? And <laughs> he has to send it in, but he just throws it away. I'm not and mentioning it. He used to be white. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no. and, you know, Patrick, he threw he away that's just environmentally, yeah. like, a not friendly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't throw it away. <laughs> and he had a vintage bike jock strap he threw away, which could have made the money. Yeah, I didn't, re- I didn't realize how much those go for. And Ryan, yeah. the other Ryan, Thongtastic Ryan, he scolded me. And then he actually texted me, like, in a separate text to, like, scold me. It was really funny. Uh, Mr. I'm, Patrick... Patrick, we're disappointed. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm about I'm about to scold you if you don't text me about that and to write. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we're gonna come up and just inventory your underwear and then keep track of it. And then when you get ready to get rid of it, all right, here is the box to put it in. Just send it away yeah. to me and I will take care of the rest. Yeah, we can do that. Easy sure. peasy. And then you have right. I, actually, I, I know where you can sell it. Where? <laughs> well, that was in the chat we had before. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna hey, nobody got time, time for that. <laughs> I actually, I could use the money now that I'm thinking of it because I just spent a ton of money on landscaping. I was just looking out my car window, realizing how much money I spent three weeks ago. So, a few extra bucks here and there would, would sell be it. helpful, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I I think we understand your fear of wearing it on public. That's kind of what we did, because I was never one to want to wear Speedo or anything other than a traditional trunk. But I've always loved them, and I've always wanted to, but I never had the confidence to actually do it. So when we went to Mexico, we forced ourselves, hey, we didn't pack anything other than a Speedo. So we didn't have a choice. That's a good plan. I like that. But, I mean, like, the first day, we were nervous. I mean, we were with some girlfriends, and they knew we were in Speedos. 
And so we already warned them, hey, you may see more skin than you want to, but whatever. And it's just getting comfortable doing it. We definitely had a few beverages so that we were just a little more calm and relaxed. But now that we've done it, honestly, I don't want to go back to a trunk. So, Ryan, I'm assuming this was probably prior to you guys, like, you know, posting on Instagram and stuff like that, right? Yes, that that's where yeah. the Instagram came from after what? After the fact. Yeah, so that's what's messed up about me is that I apparently have no issue posting myself in underwear on social media, but I, for whatever reason, I can't wear, you know, a swim brief in public. It's messed up, but <laughs> I'm trying to get over it. You need someone well, to I, hold your hand. CB. Yeah. CB. It's... And it's completely different when you post something on on social media because you could be completely anonymous and yeah, nobody sure. would nobody besides your close friends would know it's you. But when you're in public, it's it's a completely different feeling. So I completely understand, like, even for me, like my my whole like, you know, workout regimen and diet's just been garbage this last year. Like I've just not had any motivation. And so like I was just extremely nervous just wearing a uh, swim brief at the uh, hotel pool like you know what are people gonna say and this and this and turns out i was the only guy there in a damn swim brief but you know i was like you know what it's summer i'm at a point where like you know i'm okay with my body i'm not trying to impress anyone else and if somebody else tells me like hey you know i like that fantastic but you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let it kind of hold me back if you will yeah. So See, yeah. it's Patrick's support group to wear. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you. For end, of the year. end of the summer, not the end of the year. Well, I'm, I'm being nice. I'm not being nice. I'm saying end of summer. <laughs> yeah, we know that. Do then, it, do you Patrick. Know being... Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> what, bitch? That should answer your question right there. Um, right. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Mm, what ifs? But we'll get Stevie on you. He's up there. He's in the Boston area. And you need to go to well, Provincetown. It, it, so. to. it is, yeah. I know. I mean, if you find a place where you're, you, there are more common and you, you'll you not be the only one, maybe that would also help you feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, I think you're I, right. I, about I felt that like notion. that at first. I felt like that at first, too. I felt like, you know, it, more than anything, I was worried that other people would come up and say something to me. And that's what held me back for a long time of, you know, actually wearing them or, you know, not wanting to deal if there was negative feedback. At the end of the day, though, I don't I don't really get any feedback. Like even the, even now when I go to the pool, that's basically, you know, it's like a public pool and and the kind of like where I'm from and it's, you know, it's more conservative. We're in Kansas. It's a, it's a wealthier area. And I, you know, like people have come up and just chatted with me and like, nobody has said anything. I mean, there's kids around and everything. So, but I do get it. It's, it's just kind of one of those things when you first, when you first are so nervous to do it, it's hard to start. It's just like Eric, like you were saying with eating healthy and stuff. It's like, I I'm the same way. Once I start it, then I can finally get into it. But it's just starting, you know, like anything. It's just, taking that first step is always exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I I remember like you know my first time wearing a a thong in a public setting. Like I was terrified. <laughs> like I sat down on the towel. Like I didn't even want to pull my shorts up. Like I like uh, lifted my ass off the sand and like off my towel. And like slowly like pulled my shorts down and just kind of like kept looking around. But then like the the beach that I went to um, was a little bit of a younger crowd, but a little bit more like open. So it was more, um, you know, younger women in their 20s, all in thong swimwear. So I was like, OK, well, you know, they're doing it like no one said anything to me like. And yeah, like I had a good time, but I think it, it does come down to like, you kind of have to go to those places where, you know, you're not just the only one. Um, so I, I think right. that would really help Patrick. And then again, that's, that's also the reason why I wore that swim brief to the hotel was because I don't know, I didn't know really what we were walking into. Um, but again, because it was, because there are children around the pool. So I'm kind of glad that I chose to wear that instead of something a little bit more revealing, but yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I to totally just, agree with. You know. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Eric and Cody. Like, I think it would be helpful if there are more people wearing them. So, on the South Shore here, where I am, you know, all the beaches, like 
literally will be no guys in, in swim briefs at all. Like the one guy that I saw, you know, a week ago, or whatever, that was like the first guy in a year probably that I've seen in his speedo on any of the South Shore beaches, you know, near me. But it's like a double standard because women are all in their thong bikinis. Like my wife, she wears a thong bikini. And like, I feel as though there's a little bit of a double standard where, you know, I think guys get more crap for wearing swim briefs than women get for wearing, you know, thong bikinis, you know? So I think if more guys are doing it, yeah, I'd probably feel more comfortable. So I probably just take a trip down to Provincetown. It's only an hour and a half away or whatever. And just, you know, hang out there one day. Yes, you do. Definitely yeah, if, do. If it's only an hour and a half away, I would say absolutely. Yeah. And you can get people to go with and be with you because Stevie and Stevie knows people and make yeah, it a day. Totally. But Stevie knows everyone, I think. That boy. He's wonderful. And he's wearing 20 pairs Stevie. of swimwear. He's wearing 20 pairs of swimwear this weekend at the Bear Week. Because Patrick counted. <laughs> I did. He had them all hung up on hangers and looked so nice. I would have just thrown them in a suitcase and called them even. But that's just me. I guess that'll wrap up our main conversation. I'll have one more question for you guys to recommend a swimwear brand to people that are swim thong, depending on which one you like, you think people should try this year. So I'll start with Mr. Eric. Um, swim brand. One of my personal favorites is the Pisidicus wear from, it's from Spain, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, the thing I love about their design and, the, you know, it's from, the P side. Okay. I, I wasn't entirely sure about that, but there is a P in front of it. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. It's, so it's it means pronounced. parrot actually. Oh, did not know that. Um, so for me, I, I can't really recall how I, how I discovered it, but me being the huge comic geek that I am noticed that they had, you know, superhero patterns that you literally will not find anywhere else. Um, so I placed an order, you know, actually kind of had an, uh, Instagram chat with the owner, um, talked a little bit, really friendly guy and, you know, ordered a a few swim thongs from them and absolutely love them every time i've worn them anywhere people have always told me like i absolutely love the design on that or i get comments on my pictures or videos saying like where did you get that so for me that it's just perfect for me so i'm just kind of like hoping (laughs) that there'd be like a brand that comes out with like a, a horror themed uh swimwear with like you know freddy krueger and jason and all that because that would be badass so I would highly nice. recommend I would highly recommend them, and then secondly, um, I would also recommend N two N. Um, I believe N two N was probably one of the first swim thongs that I um, wore, and uh, I think I may have a pair or two of their swim briefs, but I haven't really worn those out in public. Uh, I would say those would probably be my two top to recommend at this time. Nice. Two good brands. Mr. Cody, what are you recommending? Um, you know, we just got done with our collaboration with Archie Swimwear. And I just, I'm like, as you guys all know, I'm a huge fan of the independent designers and the smaller companies and the people that do it at home. Being, being a designer and a sewer myself, I like to support that. And, you know, the suits she sent that I wore in Miami, and I've worn them this week at the pool, and the thong that she sent, like, the the thong in particular, I found to be just a really great fit. I'm I have a hard time finding thongs that I find or that I like that fit me well. Usually the straps either too long and you know it rides up and then it you know has slack or it's too short and then it digs in. But I did not find that with the Archie thong. I thought it was like perfect and comfortable. It was uh it was fun. So I definitely like Archie a lot. And I don't remember how I think we just got in contact by finding her on on Instagram. And uh, yeah, she's and she's got so much fun, like t- patterns and material. And uh, so that's one. And then I think the other one, I really, really, really like Smithers. It's a very sophisticated, very well made, very high end brand. And 
and Jake just does such a great job with his designs. Like the pride unity brief that he did this year uh, was awesome. And I haven't worn it yet. I'm I, as a straight guy, I kind of am weird. I, I feel weird wearing it, but I also want to because I loved the design so much, but um, all of his suits, like he gave me one for my birthday. It's um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's black and yellow and it's so cool. And uh I mean, I have like eight or nine of his suits at this point, and I just love them. They're they're a good, like modest cut, and the patterns are sophisticated. It's like a, it's especially for somebody that that hasn't ventured into swimwear a lot, they're just a good, well made, well designed suit that most people will like. Very nice. And what about you, Ryan and Will? What brands do you recommend people wear this summer? Um, so we probably the newest ones we have are from thick mail they like i said they fit really well they're not too expensive and the designs are are really fun um they just came out with some new colors since we're bigger thicker guys with some junk in the trunk we definitely like to have some that just fit um so that would be one and then i think the other one that we also like that we just started you know getting into is noodle bags the thing we like about them is they're big on just embracing kind of the, the speedo and uh swim brief culture for men um they feature pretty much any guy size shape um they're big on you know gay or straight it doesn't really matter with them they have a lot of custom design stuff too for sports teams um if you've had like a, a bachelor party or like a party or just anything where you want a custom design speedo they'll definitely do it for you um so i think it's really cool that they're just kind of getting more men to want to wear that whether you're gay or straight um and they're based in san diego so that's why we like yeah, noodle bags are noodle bags are awesome i we have a, a collaboration co-branded suit on our site for sale with them it's the speedo movement slash noodle bags and yeah i agree with you noodle bags are a really fun brand too yeah so those are the thick mail and noodle bags would be the ones we recommend right now um mr chris what would you recommend this summer for people to try um that's a good question my go-to brand has always been skinswear i absolutely love their stuff i have an absolute shit ton of them and always looking to buy more as they release more fabrics options um i also would recommend some of the custom places that i've gone to like carl wesley i know he did a ton of custom suits for me and they're just absolutely amazing he's actually turned that design into his own thong and he released it i think the first time with the pride thong that was the first time that he's used it on his site so look forward or look for more thongs on his site as well and then the other one that i like that's custom is poppy Mallow gear he does everything himself he runs his kind of shop through facebook so just message him if you want to order something that's kind of pretty much what i would recommend is you know skinswear and carl wesley and poppy, poppy Mallow. No. Nice. Yeah, and we're hoping to we're hoping to visit Skins like before the Speedo Cruise too, since they're in Tampa. Um, hopefully, we'll get to go as a group, or some of us that want to go will go. That'll be fun. Yeah, that's going to be hugely dangerous for me. Although I do pretty much own almost everything I want from them, <laughs> it'll be interesting <laughs> to see what they have in the store that's maybe on clearance for something that I haven't like haven't seen or whatever. Uh oh. And you're you can be our new suitcase. Our skins, um, like what do we, what do we call it, like wardrobe consultant, basically, and you can <laughs> you can help everybody else that doesn't have it yet to know what they should get. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I'm doing when I go to Austin. I'm bringing so I have five or six different styles of skins and a couple of their different fabrics. Like they have, they have mesh, they have the thin skins they call it, and they have regular just like lycra. So I'm bringing an example of like each of those to Austin to let people kind of. See it, feel it, try it on, to see what they like. So, yeah, I could do the same thing in, on the cruise. Heck yeah, that's nice. awesome. Nice. And Mr. Patrick, do you recommend any swimwear for the summer? <laughs> I wasn't sure if you are going to actually ask me or not. Of course I'm going to ask you. Well, I, I don't think I can really make any recommendations. I did buy a pair of chubbies shorts in case anyone out there is a basic bitch like me and still wearing five and a half inch and seam shorts um <laughs> See, chubbies are i had i had to get shorts similar to that for my pool party that was memorial day weekend but i did not want to pay that price for the shorts because everything 
the ones I were looking at were like seventy and above. Yeah, they're like yeah, they're like seventy. Is that expensive? I I don't know. Bitch, Is that expensive? Please, I'm not spending seventy dollars, bitch. Uh, yeah, chubbies chubbies are expensive, but honestly, they fit really well. And yeah, they do. Well, I only have the regular shorts. I wasn't paying that, so I got a pair of flamingo shorts from actually Speedo. That I love even more. So I was very happy to get the flamingos, which are like the five inch length, because everything in my size was like over the knee. And I'm like, I'm not wearing pants to go into the damn swimming pool. No, thank you. Got flamingos like and stage. Love flamingos. I think in I think instead of Thongers weekend, I'm gonna host a Chubby's weekend and just let people determine whatever that means. For themselves, <laughs> uh, I'll be I'll be there. I'll be there my full chub. <laughs> Good luck. If you stay chubby, it's, you don't gotta get chubby. So <laughs> you'll have plenty of cock rings that weekend. I'm just saying. Uh, I'll be there with full chub. I guarantee it. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna recommend swimwear, and I'm gonna recommend actual speedo swimwear. Because their stuff this year has been really good. I was shocked when I was looking up for my shorts. They came out with a new Pride line and a whole bunch of different colors that aren't kind of crazy. But they're just different prints, different everything. They've kind of outdone themselves this year, which shocked me. It's not like the solids or anything like that. It's really cool. And the one I liked the best was the... White brief with like the Speedo logo outlined in the rainbow flat colors. So that was a good one. And they have a ton of different stuff. So go check them out because it's not your father's Speedo company anymore. They actually have some really cool stuff that I wanted to order. And I'm like, no, we cannot order it. No, no. We have to save money for other things. Speaking of money, if you haven't joined our Patreon, go join our Patreon because it really helps us because this week... The hard drive I put all the podcasts on is making a slow march to death. I have, it's about to die. Every time I plug it in, it goes, sorry, you can't write to it. But hey, you can get stuff off of it and transfer it over. But make sure you back it up soon because it's about to die. Uh, so I'm using the Patreon money to get a new hard drive unexpectedly because I've only had this one for about six months. So yay. So your money actually goes to worthwhile causes and improves the quality of the show, believe it or not. So go join it. It's at UNB or it's at Patreon slash UNB. And you can join for as low as a little as a dollar a month. So you get all this great content plus our pre-show where we talked about all sorts of things. Some things I can't on here. Uh, and don't bring it up, people, because <laughs> we'll cut you out. Um <laughs> It's worth the. It's worth, as I say on RoboCup, I'll buy that for a dollar, because yeah, it's actually pretty good. The pre-show was really good today, so you really need to go <laughs> listen to it if you're a Patreon member. If you're not, well, you can join and look, download all the rest of them and listen to them. Some are better than others, but this was damn a good one. So yeah, so go listen. Everyone can now tell us where they can find us on social media. I'll start with Ryan and Will. Yes, we are on Twitter and Instagram at Too Beefy Too Thick. With two C's at the end. Correct. Not a K. Two C's. Go follow them. The number two, not uh, spelled out. Their Instagram is tame and their Twitter is spicy. Um, (laughs) So, yeah. Just know that going into it. And you will be disappointed, let me tell you. Just saying... Uh, Mr. Patrick, when you are on and jumping into Twitter spaces for two minutes, where are you at? I am Bree Buff on Twitter right now. So go follow him, and if you DM him, he'll answer you in about six months. But that's okay. It's that's true. okay. Hey, I posted. I posted this week or last week, whatever it was. So that's pretty good. Hey, that's good for Patrick. We believe Patrick could have as minimal or a maximum social political as he wants. It don't matter. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Mr. Cody, where can people find you? Yeah, you can find us on all social medias, um, the Speedo Movement, um, the underscore Speedo underscore movement. Um, watch out. There's a, at least one fake account out there that's using our logo. That's not us. There's uh, one account on Instagram that 
is a kind of a, an account we use for when we do lives. But you'll know it because we have um, quite a big community at this point on Instagram in particular. But, you know, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, uh, what is Twitter? I'm trying to think what else we have. I, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I can't keep track. And also our website, thespeedomovement.com. Uh, which we are getting ready. We're working with a website designer now to revamp it. But in the meantime, it's still up. So you can check out us there and check out our line of suits that Joe and I designed because we have some cool ones, I think. Nice. Uh, Mr. Chris, where can people find you? Uh, Twitter is uh, Chai Thonger and Instagram is Chai Thonger 2 since my old account was deleted recently. Bastard did Instagram. I can make sure I follow your new one. I think I do, but I don't know. I'll double check that when we get off here. And last but not least, our OG resident uh, podcaster, Mr. Eric. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at UndiesGeek85. Yeah, that's it. And then if you missed Andy this one, which we all I'm sure did, he's at the Scruffy Yay. And then Mr. Stevie is... Undies Cup, I believe. So go follow them as well. I'm at UMB Tim, uh, which we'll do another space soon and follow the blog at UMB Blog on pretty much everything. And I guess that's it for now, people. Have a great week, and we will be back to you in three weeks, as long as it's not a holiday or I'm in Vegas. Uh, One or the other, we'll be back. Have a good one, people. Uh, hi. Hi, everybody. Bye. Bye.